Today, we're making kidney-friendly tacos. This recipe is not only easy, but it uses the ingredients you probably already have and can be personalized in many ways. Follow along to see how. Let's talk about tortillas. If you buy tortillas at the store, be very careful reading the label. Sometimes, pre-made tortillas and other bakery products have added phosphorus or potassium to make them last longer. They also may have a lot of salt added. Making your tortillas is a healthy and fun activity you can do at home. Corn is a kidney-friendly ingredient, and this tortilla recipe only has three ingredients. You will need one cup of masa harina, half a cup and two tablespoons of water, and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Combine the masa, salt, and half cup of water in a medium mixing bowl. Mix well, adding additional water as needed. The dough should be dry, but holds together. When the dough ball looks like this, roll it into eight little balls. Place a dough ball in between two pieces of plastic wrap. I like to use a Ziploc bag cut in half. If you have a tortilla press, use it. If not, use a heavy flat bottom skillet or plate to press your tortillas. Heat a large skillet without oil. If you used a skillet to press the dough balls, you can use the same one to cook them. Gently place a tortilla on the skillet and cook for two to four minutes on each side until stiff and lightly browned. Cover the finished tortillas with a clean kitchen towel to keep them warm while you cook your taco filling. You can also use this recipe to make chips. Check out our chilaquiles recipe to see how. To make the taco filling, you will need an onion, two teaspoons of oil, one can of tuna, a half cup of corn, which can be canned or frozen, diced tomatoes, fresh or canned, and chili powder. If you don't like tuna or you want to try something different, substitute the canned tuna for canned salmon or chicken. Start by draining and rinsing your canned items. Canned food is sometimes high in sodium, potassium, and phosphorus, so be sure to read the label when buying it at the store. Draining will help get rid of most of these nutrients, but rinsing helps get as much out as we can. We also won't need to add any salt because there's still some sodium left even after rinsing. Next, chop your onions. You can also add bell peppers or jalapenos here if you like them. What I really like about this recipe is that you can add any other vegetables you like if you want. Cook the onions and bell peppers in oil over medium heat until they turn clear. Add tuna, corn, tomatoes, and chili powder. Cook until heated through, about three to five minutes. Top with cilantro, lettuce, and hot sauce if desired. And as always, buen provecho. You can find this recipe and other dialysis-friendly recipes in our recipe book. It's completely free. Scan the QR code with your smart device or go to the link to see the book. If you prefer a paper copy, ask your dietitian at the Riverside Dialysis Clinic. Ingredients. One cup masa harina, one half cup and two tablespoons of water, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of onion chopped, two tablespoons bell peppers chopped, two teaspoons of oil, one can tuna drained and rinsed, one half cup of corn canned or frozen, one fourth cup of tomatoes diced, and one half teaspoon chili powder.